Hello, hello again and welcome to the next part of the uh, Nikon F2 with some different issues. Well, it's, it's mild set, but um, it really has some, <coughs> let's say, uh, not very good parts. <laughs> but uh, I have looked in the uh, in part of it and uh, found out that as I mentioned in the other video, the first video, that the, the gear, I mean, part of the uh, advance um, mechanism is simply worn out. It will say this part here, which is uh, not really good. As, as you can see, they're missing some dents around the, this, uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called, but apart <laughs> well so let's take a look at some of the the problem with the, this camera because I found out what was actually stuck in here see this is the back side we have the counter here and on the back side which you probably uh, remember this part was actually sitting here I mean should sit here but of course uh, it's well it break off <clears throat> and um, I found in the beginning when I disassembled the camera I found a screw which uh, I simply think okay where can that come from it will say this one so <clears throat> where could it sit yeah, well, since there is missing a spring, uh, which I found <laughs> in the uh, around the mirror house, the mirror box, uh, where should that spring actually sit? Well, look at the repair manual on the sheet. <coughs> um, I found out. I'm very sure about it. It should sit here. Well, it broke off because of the uh, well maybe someone simply advanced the camera too hard I don't know <clears throat> I don't know the history of the camera well so it's this screw sits here and uh, okay the spring that I actually found should as I see it should actually push uh, if it sits correct and is bent it incorrect um, it should actually push on those two it's a kind of a lock mechanism <clears throat> that will lock into the to the the dented um, wheel here but since the uh, the spring is missing and the screw is also missing they can they have no lock uh, function at all so uh, <clears throat> well I'm guessing what could be the, the reason it was so bad so it was uh, actually that but let's take a look at the counter itself how does it actually work well I try to figure out uh, how it can just uh, by going one frame <coughs> Uh, when you advance the camera uh, it will just step one number forward and continue with that each time you advance the film so how does it work well uh, part of it is actually this uh, part here is actually a kind of eccentric that move a lever to push on the on the dented kind of a dented uh, you probably can see there <clears throat> it's a part in here the dented uh, yeah part so each time it goes one uh, frame ahead it will simply the the counter will simply step one uh, number forward and it's uh, this part here 
the part here is actually connected to the part here this one so each time it will <coughs> uh, go one frame ahead it will also turn when it's ran to the camera now since uh, I think okay how could we get it to work uh, as we see it work in proper so this is the the key that actually uh, when you close the film door simply push on here and simply uh, um, prepare the the mechanism here to actually count and when you open the film door it will simply release the uh, the counter and it will go back to start it will say s now but how does it actually work when we see it <clears throat> well i was uh, not fully aware of how the spring <clears throat> this hairspring should sit should uh, this one sit on the on this side of the pin or it should sit on the other side well it's quite easy um, and how about this pin here where do, does the spring sit <clears throat> so it works proper now um, so I work a little with it just to figure out how could it be so this end of the spring should actually go over to the screw that actually is screwed into here it will say this special screw so when this uh, screw it actually put in here it will say that the end of this of the spring here will go on to the outside of the um, of this screw into this notch so how can we actually demonstrate how it works as a should well <clears throat> as we set the spring so it sits like something here if it's possible to do it so the spring should sit something like that so when this end it will say the other end with the screw if I um, actually tighten it as it the screw was sitting here and put the my tweezer in here I can actually set the get the counter to work so when pressing in the lever here uh, and close the film door I and, and turn the this uh, uh, connection the brass here turn it you can see each time it will count one step ahead and if we go a little closer you can actually see the function of it So it's quite simple and when I actually open the film door for changing the film look what happened the lever which I'm pressing right now uh, when I release it the counter will go back to S so and then we can just start over again so it's quite simple so the spring has to sit correct if not the counter will not work and uh, yeah what else to do I would like to show you how the um, the self timer actually it's the same it's yeah it's actually the same that sit in the Nikon F um, as I see it maybe there are some small improvement but um, as I see it it's the same so but this one is actually a bit well we can say a bit uh, 
sticky so it does not really um, when I put the, the lever on here and turn it it should stop at one point and be ready to actually um, be ready to push the button sometimes it works sometimes not so if I press here there is a tiny oh come on out to focus when I press the button here the um, there is kind of a lock function in here so if we see what's happened it will say so and I press the button so there is another part down here and which I press on it it will actually uh, kind of as I advance the the self timer back to where it should be when starting so then it's ready to actually uh, be fired then we can just do it again click and then it goes on and look what happened to this pin it will push down on the <clears throat> on the uh, the pin in here so this little pin is actually connected to the the shutter button here through the tiny hole here this hole here as we can probably see it with a tiny screwdriver mm -hmm. so if one press on the shutter button it will activate the this arm <clears throat> but if the if the self timer is not working correct well one can actually suck it into yeah is a propyl alcohol 99% and just let it stay there for a few minutes or so and it's uh, actually attached here to with the two screws one there and one there so we just unscrew it I'm not quite sure if there is any spacers there might be yeah no it's not it's actually part of this so it should be okay to actually unscrew the screw no come on okay <laughs> so the spacer here is actually loose so one have to be aware of it hopefully it's the same in each corner yeah it is actually the same here and on the other end okay little fellow so and we can just unscrew the other one The, the self timer will continue just uh, to actually running and out with a little screw okay it's different mm -hmm. so there is actually no no uh, difficult in that so the spacer here is actually um, in one end is actually sit with a short screw and because of the the spacer is actually part of the, uh, it's actually mount on the the uh, base here <clears throat> now let's see what actually happened if we activate the the uh, self timer here it will say <coughs> this half moon um, part here 
we'll engage with the part here. Okay, here. So if I, with a plier, uh, actually try to advance the self timer, we can hopefully see what's going on. There. So now <clears throat> the lock function which actually happen when you press the um, <coughs> the the button on the front <coughs> sorry it will simply press on here on this part here and unlock this pin to start the self timer so if we press here see it goes and if I just do so, it will uh, stop the self timer. I, I can just uh, press it again and then it should work. <coughs> we just do it again. So it's maybe all the way over to where it should. So. So now the, um, the self timer is ready to be fired by pushing this little pin and I can always stop it. So click and I can just stop it there. Let me just do it again. <laughs> And at the same time, everything is uh, the count, the, <laughs> the self timer is running. We can see what's happened. And it will press on the shutter button. <clears throat> Sometimes the uh, this part in here, if I can show it, the, the little pin here right here actually sometimes is worn out a little and then it can be uh, filed and hopefully work proper again on the other hand uh, if it's worn out here it will say this the part here this part, part here can sometimes be worn out and uh, it can be it's actually possible to to uh, file a little away and with a needle file and you can hopefully get it to run again i mean hopefully hmm. yeah sometimes it will work sometimes not <clears throat> but the uh, since it's actually uh, need a shower, I will just put it in. Simply have a good shower in isopropyl alcohol and let it stay there for a little. And uh, what else to see about? Well, the exposure uh, wheel <coughs> will be this one. Uh, how is it actually connected to the to the um, I mean to the mechanism in here I would like to take it off and it sits by one two three four screws as I see it yeah and there is also a wire but it doesn't really matter But uh, I don't know how it will be, <clears throat> but let's take a look in how oh, it's actually it's put in. <clears throat> uh, 
I mean, since the camera is not working, uh, it's really good to show how it uh, it's put together. See, there's difference in screws. So there are two countersunk screws, one there, one there, and not countersunk there and there. Of course, be aware of the wire here. And this one here. I don't know what what will happen <laughs> when uh, I take off the exposure part here. It could happen. Is it possible to take off? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it should be kind of. Maybe it should sit some. Ah, let's see. There's something. Mm -hmm. This part in here should be pushed away. This part here should be pushed away and then it should be, as I see it, then it should be possible to actually lift up the, yeah, here we go. Okay. Interesting. And then we are under the, the um, exposure wheel. And so this will change the exposure if we turn this uh -huh. and this is the the actual um, the I don't know what it's called. It's a kind of a um, movement meter or needle or something. So then when we advance the film, this one will go around. Turn. And at the same time, it should stop there. Okay, interesting. Oh, it was not fully viewable. So if we turn it, it will move the parts here. So each time I <coughs> advance the the film, it will also tell us um, what's happened. If the film is advanced correct. Oh, it's maybe connected to the shutter itself. So if we turn the curtain, yeah, I think it's, it's actually connected directly to the curtain here. But if we do so, no. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> yeah it must be so it it turns when the uh, oh when the uh, film is advanced correct i think it's it's the same in the nikon f now i'll just put it on again and hopefully <clears throat> Get it to correct place. Susan, see this uh, lever here needs to come all the way out here before you can put in the the actual um, 
advanced part. So let's see what happened. <coughs> if I put it on. And this pin here should engage in the in this hole here. <clears throat> now let's try put it on. See what's happened. Okay, I think I will take a break and figure it out. Now, we continue with the... Uh, it was just a bit... Uh, <laughs> not easy to get the, the exposure thingy on here. So I would... Uh, I would simply take off the bottom plate here with the lock function here and see what's actually inside. It should be possible to unscrew this screw here, and this, and this, and the last one here. Oh gosh, sometimes the autofocus is not good. Well, there are four screws that hold the plate in the bottom. It will say one here, there, there, and there. And we also need to take off the screw that connects to the winder, if one has some of those. So, oh. special screw here, which one can make a tool for it. Uh, I haven't made it yet, but one can also use a compass or a lens spinner or something. It looks like someone else has been in here, so we can try to unscrew it. Well, it can sit tight, maybe, uh, but here is not a problem. So, off with that. So, tiny special screw. And uh, we just need to have all the screws in the same. Now, we also need to take off this part that is connection to the from the winder to the camera advanced system. So, and then uh, it should be possible to lift off and the battery cover plate is not ne no need for take off. So this is how it looks in, underneath. That's what I said, okay, it's not necessary to unscrew this coin screw or whatever it calls. <laughs> um, because then you can see it's actually screwed in underneath. So one can actually open, close the lock, but it has to sit there. Now, and get rid of those screws and so better space on my desk so now we actually look into the bottom plate the bottom part someone mentioned that there, there could be an issue if the shutter was stuck in a way because of this part is yeah, let's say, uh, get stuck, so it cannot move at all. And if one manipulate with this part here, it should free up the, the shutter. If we look here. So. Well, it, it was actually the case when I look into the bottom part uh, earlier just to find out what was actually wrong so now this pin this bloody pin here is a little annoying <laughs> uh, but where is it connected to because 
I couldn't. I couldn't put on the exposure uh, assembly. So I would like to know how, how is it actually put together. And there's something. There is uh, sit wrong in a way. And it could be something underneath. There's simply something wrong here. Now, I need to investigate a little, so hold on. Okay, uh, I messed, messed it around with the uh, with this little finger shape uh, part here, but it sit wrong. So now I actually change it to sit over here when it sits right. Uh, the repair manual uh, did not tell so much about it. So this uh, part here has to change position by lifting it up and put it all the way over to here. And then one have to fiddle a little with it. And it actually goes through a hole down here which is down here. I know it can be difficult to see, but it comes up here, right here under the under the part here. So uh, one have to give it a little movement, and hopefully it will come into correct position. So, so it should stay there. So now it's correct and everything seems to be fine so I can put in the exposure uh, whatever thingy called um, and it should be correct. There is a little hole here in this uh, lever and this pin actually goes into the little hole here. And now the um, what actually push on this um, lever here is actually this pin here. This pin here. And this part here, this tiny pin is actually as it uh, should be correct. It will push on this spring kind of leaf spring. And of course the little pin here, uh, this tiny pin, should also go into the hole here, this hole here. One have to actually move this pin out as much as it can and then uh, try to catch the, the holes and the pins here. Uh, it will say this pin and um, this pin so it uh, you can it will engage in the parts so I will first put it on here it took me some time to figure out <laughs> because this uh, uh, part here was sitting over here when I took the uh, um, exposure uh, part off so I couldn't see it correct sometimes that is a problem <laughs> but then put it on and move this I know it can be difficult to see but move this pin out here so it will go like should sit something like that 
and now it should be possible to catch the the pins here around a dented tweezer is uh, absolutely great for doing this uh, to catch the little hole in here it should come in here and also this pin here should sit correct there and then put it in and now things should uh, looks like it's you have to move some uh, or, I mean turn this so it will catch the, the pin in the so here we go and uh, everything should sit correct I'm not quite sure it does it looks like this pin sit wrong it should go underneath this pin should go underneath the uh, and actually move the uh, cam here as I see it no I think it's correct well we'll see now put on some screws yeah I think it's fine <coughs> now there are four screws two countersunk and to not count the sunk so I will just begin with the count the sunk screw sit here and hopefully I can manage to screw it in and now things uh, should sit as they should sit in here it looks fine as I see it maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm right but things looks looks uh, fine from here <laughs> and the little leaf spring here is also sitting correct now let's continue with the uh, advanced gear uh, which also will come in Remember there, there is a brass bearing uh, or bronx, I would guess so. It should sit here. So we'll just put it in. And uh, try to put their shutter uh, button pin into the tiny hole down here I'll just use a screw where did it go where's my tiny screw down oh, here it'll go to through the hole this hole down here that's actually pushing on the on this part here so hopefully it can come in and uh, also the counter the part for the counter uh, will also engage with this one with this pin here so every everything has to sit in in proper order which uh, can be a little maybe difficult who knows one can turn this uh, this wheel and let the um, 
the counter wheel to engage with the um, with the uh, yeah this pin. <laughs> so how about this here? I think there maybe is an issue. Maybe maybe not. Of course, the advanced gear is not working, so um, there could be an issue with putting in parts so they can sit correct. And the shutter button goes down here. And the counter gear here is not did not sit correct, so one have to move it a little. <clears throat> so now it sits correct. And I will just uh, try to put in one screw so I have an idea of where the thing should sit. <laughs> so there. And because of the advanced gear, um, things are not course working proper so now I have better control of what happened and I could if I can open the film door so and get rid of the back here if I can move this a little or maybe the advanced gear here then I hopefully can have it fall into place hmm. maybe if I and this will go in here Yeah, it's simply because the the two pin in here that will uh, hmm. so now the uh, the advanced gear is I mean correct put in. I know it will not work again because it's totally worn out. But still, I will put in the, the parts here. So, then the little special screw that sits over here come in. And of course, there is a spring here, the end of the spring, uh, that actually part of the counter spring. So by using a, a dentist, I mean dentist tool to lift it up, and slide it over here let it come there and then it sits correct so now the counter is actually the counter function is actually working of course and I cannot use it because of the worn out advanced gear so now the last screw can come in <coughs> oh. <laughs> 
hopefully. So, and there. Here we go. Now we are actually more closer to a not working camera that is actually assembled. <laughs> But, but uh, yeah, there is another thing, uh, and since we are in here, the um, slow gear, which I will try to figure out how to take out, um, because it sits with two screws. We can see the, the one end, end of the screw, which is one here, this one here, and the other one is actually sitting if we can expose it oh difficult well it sits hope, hope you can see it is actually underneath the um, down here it's hidden behind the, the gear wheel but it sits down there so I will uh, take it out but before doing so there might be some adjustment or uh, how the how close the slow gear gear should sit to their to their well sh uh, yeah the curtain the drum as we say so i'll just make a scratch here and see that's fine as you can see here so now I know where it uh, kind of should sit maybe the wires here we can also make another scratch here uh, could be useful to have down here so you know how long out or how f um, well, how is it? It's positioned. Just uh, there and there. So another mark is set down here. So now we can turn the camera over. But oh, where are the screws? Well, it sits on the, under the uh, tripod mount. So we need to unscrew the four screws here. And so there. Of course, I have been in into this and see how it was uh, put together. But uh, now I can better show it to others. You see, there is one screw here. Sits uh, behind the tripod mount. One sits here, and it's the other side. You will see here actually and there is one between the all the parts here that sits right there and it's the it's the other screw which we cannot see that is hidden behind the the gear down here but let's see when we take it out how it will go So put those screws uh, a little away. Okay, I have an idea. Before actually unscrew it, set a mark around here. And over here. So you, I think it will be better. So you have a, a better area to see well, how the the slow gears is sitting so now we it i think it's better now the other screw unscrew it fully it's not that tight 
So, and now we can take, hopefully, the slow gear out. And then we have it. This part here. Um, okay, it goes up to here. Yeah, now we see. There is the connection. Uh, this pin that goes down to the slow gear here is actually the um, that one that goes up to here. So when turning the Posi reel, we can see how it will work if I set it to something uh, longer exposure. So that's actually interesting. <clears throat> There's another fork down here. Hopefully you can see it. This fork here has to as I see it, engage with this pin here. Mm -hmm. So, how is, is it actually working? Let's see. So, the more this one goes down there, the faster it will go, or what? Yeah, so when I pull this pin here, the slower, I mean the faster the gear is actually working. So now it's actually quite slow. And if I move this part out here, and at the same time, it'll go ah, difficult to <laughs> actually do. Let's see, with another tweeter. So if I pull this pin out, this pin here, and try to activate the slow gear, let's see what's, it goes pretty fast. So the more this arm is out the faster the slow gear is so when it's it's uh, just like this the slow gear will be slow there's nothing underneath that is so that's fine oh. okay hold on uh, something fall down. So now, uh, let's put it back into the camera and uh, see how it will go. I think this tweezer here. So now we put it in and uh, trying to catch this this pin here should engage with the fork so it sits like there so if the camera was working this okay can we see it yeah difficult I know <clears throat> This part here, this pin here, will push to this pin here and make it uh, make the slow gear faster. So remember to put in the the pin here that will engage with the fork here. So we can just slide it in. So. And put in the two screws again. And so if I have since I have set a mark down here underneath, I have a better control of how does this part sit when it's correct. I think it's a good idea. 
So now we put in the screws again. So there is actually no adjustment in the in the way the screws sit. Okay, yeah, I think there it is. You see this hole here where one of the screws going in through is actually a little bigger. So it's possible to when the one screw is uh, screwed in, one can actually move the uh, slow gear a little. And in that way adjust it. That's what I think the um, it it's the way it works. So just put a screw in. And there. <clears throat> and then tighten the screws gently. So, and then on with the um, tripod mount. So, now. Uh, I will simply just put on the uh, the the bottom cover on and say that's fine for now in this because I cannot repair the camera anyway no matter what I do how I do it simply so <laughs> damaged. So that's it. It will not work at <laughs> all, no matter what I do. So it is. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's see what to do. I can put in the mirror house and the back a film door. So, <clears throat> that's it, and then we can put in the mirror house, or oh, at least try to put in the mirror house. There's something to be aware of. Um, this pin here. I think it has to engage with the pin here, which has something to do with the with the um, mirror up function. No, not really. No, nah. just put it in. Yeah, and well, I know that was something, but I can just uh, actually. Where's my solder? Iron, and then so and it's it's fine there. And now we can just put in the mirror house as I see it. Maybe the wire should um, sit down here. So, and then 
at the mirror house. Okay. There's something to be aware of. Since see the uh, this part here needs to come up and this part down here needs to come down but there is actually a hole here where we can put in something it will say this hole here and simply hold the pin down so we can slide in the mirror house And hopefully it will work. Sometimes you have to do it <coughs> two or three times to make actually make it possible to work. So if I push down this pin here, and then make the dentist tool here, push this down, or one can actually do it here. It should be possible to put it in. So this pin down here should actually if we see it has to go up here but it's easier to just uh, catch it from outside here and uh, just let slip I mean release it and then it will pop into place so now we can take the uh, the front I mean the yeah the front part and simply screw in the So now it looks actually as a camera, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, and then we will simply put in the uh, self timer, which also has to sit correct. I mean, it can actually only sit one way. And since I actually uh, put in, put the self timer in the isopropyl alcohol I also need to actually uh, lube it so it's not dry on the in the bearings so hold on and then I will just use some very very thin sewing machine oil and simply um, add a tiny drop on the bearing only only on the axle end and it doesn't need to be in that much. Um, so there. And then one can wipe away the rest of it. So there, I think it'll be fine enough. Maybe this one. I think they have used some 
uh, other kind of loop uh, back then but uh, since I do not have that kind of of uh, oil or grease or whatever they use but well I've tried many times in different um, cameras and this uh, oil is actually very good uh, if you ask me so now put it on and uh, we'll just put in one screw it will say the long one no it will be the short one of course a screwdriver uh, it's not it's brass so uh, can be a little tricky to put in but this uh, this pin has all to, to sit correct so there a short one one will sit down here and then screw it in so here we are and then the spacer <coughs> well there should be a spacer hmm, somewhere where did it go hold on a second and then <coughs> put in the self timer so this uh, pin here um, has to sit correct when you put it in it has to go as up to the stop here so it uh, it sits correct and then it should sit above the the pin here so when the, the self timer is activated and it will go further down 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 and it will push down on this pin here which is the shutter button part of it <coughs> and then and activate the shutter so when putting in be aware of this one is up here and then gently put the self timer in hopefully it will it will work um, at first but I I guess I mean I cannot check it <coughs> in this situation because of the bad shutter now put in the tiny screws that hold the the self timer in place and then we're actually ready to put on the uh, top cover or oh, I could just gently put this under here so it looks a little better <coughs> be a little tricky to put under here so now <laughs> so the paperweight is actually almost there now put on the um, the self timer lever with a special screw and uh, we also need to put on the plastic scale here so it's it's there and then the retaining knot and it can actually only sit in one position <coughs> so there of course yes it's So 
so and one can move it to position and then <coughs> screw it in and then use a uh, a lens tool for that <clears throat> so now it sits where it should then add the self timer lever and at the moment the the self timer is actually activated no it's not it should of course sit up here and then one can just turn it and then fire it and it will work of course of the <laughs> nothing will happen at all since the uh, the uh, shutter is worn out just use a rubber tool to tighten the screws I mean tighten the screw <laughs> so it is and then <clears throat> finally we can put on the oh yeah we can put on the front plate which we actually need to put on first so and there are four screws And now the uh, top cover comes on. Finally. So, and it sits there. One screw. And then the, oh gosh, I forgot something. Of course, the tiny window, plastic window has to sit there. So, and um, then we can just put it on. And hopefully it will stay there. Yeah, looks like. Then put in a screw. So there. So, and then the uh, retaining knot around the advance. The film advance uh, gear which uh, should be possible to screw in what's going on here Sometimes they can be a little tricky to put on those uh, retaining rings. And of course a missing point is also the camera strap that should sit here with the screw. But since it's broken so it's not really so good. Now on with the... Um, the shutter button retaining thingy here with the lock function and I think there is something
that might be wrong. <laughs> yeah, there is something here <clears throat> that uh, I should have known. Maybe it's possible to put it on here. It is. Okay, fine. And then put it on here. Maybe it has to sit like so. I would guess it should sit like this. And now this uh, top comes on, and uh, it has to. S oh. Gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah. So this one should sit there. Like that. And uh, I would guess this one should sit there. So one can actually um, lock the camera. So it's not correct. It should sit okay, not easy. Mm -hmm. So if we put this over to here as far as it can, and then put on this, yeah, it must be something like that. So on with this part here, should be something there, and it should sit like this uh, gap here, should sit with a pin here. <clears throat> and then add the spring and the retaining not and then a tool so it should be possible to actually screw it in I have to improve this tool a little for further so you can see it works as it should now the um, exposure wheel should sit somewhere here. And is it correct? Yes. Because I then set it at 4 as I actually begin with. And then tighten the small set screws. So there. And then the advanced lever. Sit, sit. Is it possible to actually? Do any movement of this uh, no it's not really possible to do anything about it so um, I will just let it be as it is and uh, they yeah thank you for this time And yeah, it was actually no go. So, uh, well, it was. I hope you enjoyed the content and can use the information in this video about the F2. Shame it was not working. So, bye bye.